Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to Economic Survey 2023. Consider the following statements. 1. The RBI has projected headline inflation at 6.8% in FY23 outside its comfort zone of 2% to 6%. 2. The survey projected a baseline GDP growth of 6.5% in real terms in FY24. 3. India ranks second globally after Australia with respect to the net gain in average annual forest area between 2010 and 2020. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is A. It mentioned that the likely installed capacity by end of 2029 to 30 is expected to be more than 800 gigawatts, of which non-fossil fuel would contribute more than 500 gigawatts, resulting in the decline of the average emission rate of around 29% by 2029 to 1930, compared to 2014 to 15. India ranks third globally, after China and Australia, with respect to the net gain in average annual forest area between 2010 and 2020. Question to the successes signal that the production-linked incentive, PLI, scheme is leading to the development of a potent ecosystem that is self-sustaining and thriving, R. 1. As the PLI scheme focuses on advanced technologies, it is likely to upgrade the skills of the existing labor force. 2. It will replace technologically obsolete machinery and make the manufacturing sector globally competitive. 3. The enhanced production volumes cater to increasing consumer demand. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. Question 3 As per World Health Organization, WHO, Report on Neglected Tropical Diseases, NTD, consider the following statements. 1. NTDs are a diverse group of 20 conditions mainly prevalent in tropical areas caused by various pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi, and toxins. To six countries accounted for 80% of the global NTD burden. 3. In 2021, 25% fewer people needed treatments against NTDs than in 2010. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. Some 16 countries accounted for 80% of the global NTD burden. Global Report on Neglected Tropical Diseases 2023 report published on World NTD Day 30th January 2023 highlighted the advancement and challenges in delivering NTD care worldwide against a backdrop of COVID-19 related disruptions. Question 4. Consider the following statements about the Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technologies, ICT. 1. India and Russia have elevated their strategic partnership with the launch of the Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technology or ICT. 2. The objective is to elevate and expand strategic technology partnership and defense industrial cooperation between the two countries' governments, businesses, and academic institutions. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Answer is B. India and the United States have elevated their strategic partnership with the launch of the Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technology or ICT. 
Question 5 Recently three places are listed on both the World Heritage List and the List of World Heritage in Danger. They are 1. Historic Center of Odessa, Lebanon 2. Rachid Karmi International Fair Tripoli, Ukraine 3. Landmarks of the Ancient Kingdom of Saba in Marib Governorate, Yemen Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is D. Historic Center of Odessa, Ukraine Rachid Karmi International Fair Tripoli, Lebanon Landmarks of the Ancient Kingdom of Saba in Marib Governorate, Yemen In Yemen, the site includes seven archaeological sites that show the architectural, aesthetic and technological achievements of the Kingdom of Saba from the first millennium BCE to the arrival of Islam around 630 CE. The site was added to the in danger list due to threats posed to the site from the ongoing conflict in Yemen. The site in Lebanon, Rachid Karmi International Fair in Tripoli, was designed in 1962 by the Brazilian architect Oscar Niemeyer. Its main building is a boomerang-shaped covered exhibition hall. Odessa, a free city, a world city, and a legendary port that has left its mark on cinema, literature, and the arts, is thus placed under the reinforced protection of the international community. Question 6. Which will be the new capital of Andhra Pradesh recently announced? A. Vishakhapatnam B. Karnul C. Vijavada D. Amravati Answer is A. Question 7. Consider the following statements about the recent budget for rural development. 1. The total budget allotment on rural development schemes has been cut down by almost 14% compared to the previous financial year. To increase in funding for the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Housing Scheme from the current 48,000 crore rupees to 79,590 crore rupees in the next financial year. 3. The spending for Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme MGNRE GS, has been increased to 89,000 crore rupees from 60,400 crore rupees in the previous financial year. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only Answer is A. The total budget allotment has been slashed across multiple sectors and schemes of the central government. The funds for central sector schemes and projects have been reduced from 126 crore rupees to 113 crores. The spending for Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme MGNRE GS, has been reduced to 60,000 crore rupees from 89,400 crore rupees against the previous financial year. Question 8 with reference to the special scheme called Amrit Dharohar, announced during Budget 2023 consider the following statements. 1. For protecting vital wetlands which sustain aquatic biodiversity. 2. The scheme aims to achieve sustainable ecosystem development with the help of local communities. 3. It falls under green growth, one of the seven priorities of the budget. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is C. India currently has 75 Ramsar sites, which are wetlands of international importance that have been designated under the criteria of the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands. This scheme will be implemented over the next three years to encourage the optimal use of wetlands and enhance biodiversity, carbon stock ecotourism opportunities, and income generation for local communities. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.